at the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify poor conditioning, explain the implication of poor conditioning, and appreciate the significance of understanding the implication of poor conditioning. What is poor conditioning? How are we going to analyze it? So why do we have to analyze poor conditioning? So these are just some of the questions that we are going to deal with in this lesson. So make sure you click that subscribe button for you to be able to receive notifications for more lessons in the future. So conditioning refers to how fast or how slow a function changes depending on how small the change in input is. Okay? So for you to be able to understand what this really means, let's have this function as an example. So we have the function of x, okay, which is equal to inverse matrix A times x. So in this case, when A, matrix A, is an element of R, n by n, and it has an eigenvalue decomposition and its condition number is or its com its condition number is computed by dividing eigenvalue i and eigenvalue j so this means that the condition number is the ratio of the smallest and the largest eigenvalue so in a way, if you would like to know more about decomposition, because decomposition is an important part of this lesson, I have a lesson on, about that. So the link is given in the disc description below. And please, you watch it for you to be able to understand what I'm talking. So you, you may pause this video for a while and come back if you're done with eigen, uh, decomposition. Okay? So what does this mean? By intuition, the condition number of a matrix is how close a certain matrix to being singular uninvertible. Let me write that here. Singular. Okay. Uninvertible. So what do we mean when we say singular uninvertible? So this is actually a matrix whose determinant is zero and it does not have any inverse. So then what is the essence of this condition number? Okay, I think I have to write here condition number. So condition number. Why do we have to know this condition number? So what then is the essence of a condition number? So when the condition number increases, let's go to, okay, again, when the condition number increases, numerical approximation is, or numerical appro approximation algorithms involving matrix inversion is becoming less and less accurate. So what's next? What's going to happen if this is the case? So when this happens, it becomes sensitive to error in the input. So remember our lessons before so about, about the rounding off or the rounding error? So I have that in lesson number 16. So please study the, the two errors, the overflow and the underflow, because that is also an important part of this lesson. So I would like to point out that this sensitivity is an intrinsic property of the matrix. Let me write here. Sensitivity. Okay. So as you could see, as we sensitivity, as we go along with our discussions, with our lessons in this course, we are meeting lots of terms which I think you have to familiarize if not memorize all of them because that is really very important especially if you would like to major a machine learning engineering 
so it's, it's really very important so again I would like to point out that this sensitivity is an intrinsic property of the matrix itself and not because of other outside phenomena like the rounding error doing matrix inversion okay so examining a matrix with bigger with bigger condition number we can say that it represents linear transformation so between vector spaces so it means that when there is perturbations in the input even the smallest deviation an impact is created in the norm of the output vector so I know that you do not want this to happen right of course whoever would like to have a problem I think something is wrong because in this case if if an impact is not what is really normal then something is wrong with our data later we will have that so it causes a problem for the purpose of scientific computation so there would be rounding errors in the inputs which or which can result to large changes in the outputs okay so when our output is an uninvertible matrix basically it becomes useless so maybe you would like to ask why is it that it becomes useless well the answer is that is that at any point we cannot make interpretations with respect to any of those lower dimensional features so the bottom line here is that the choice of a particular representation becomes arbitrary let me write here arbitrary okay your choice of a certain representation again it becomes arbitrary so maybe you would like to ask me Joseph why is it that at this point it becomes arbitrary okay so this is so because you do not have enough data to arrive at certain representations so what if the output matrix is almost uninvertible again here is uninvertible here is almost uninvertible what is the situation what will happen so if our output matrix is almost uninvertible this happens when a matrix has high condition number okay so it essentially means that numerical condition algorithms get less accurate so when it becomes less accurate then of course something is really wrong and you have to investigate what is this for why do we have to study this if your algorithm gives you a high condition number then it is time to be suspicious investigate but be cautious what you have to do is that you're going to check non-optimal solutions that are also close to optimal one so better yet if you compare them if they are all similar then it means that you can still simplify more your representation if there is no point of similarity so something is really wrong it could be that your algorithm is wrong or you are directed to devise another way of representation because the old one does not work after all being said and done let's try this what is the condition number what is the impact of poor conditioning and how should poor conditioning be dealt with so please leave your answers in the comment box below so we could discuss properly and everybody can learn not just you but also me can learn from you and of course all others who are visiting this channel do not forget to subscribe like and share please click the bell button to be notified every time we have a new session see you in the next lesson